Hi folks, Joseph Kursky here with you, geographer and educator and GIS enthusiast. I wish to share the 10 things a geographer hopes will come out of the COVID-19 crisis. Number one, that GIS, Geographic Information Systems, will be valued as a framework, a way of thinking, and a set of tools and methodologies. As the COVID-19 situation makes clear, spatial and temporal analysis through the maps generated by Geographic Information Systems, or GIS, is critically important to society, to making decisions today and in the future. Number two, that key fields and disciplines will be valued in educational institutions from primary to universities. Geography, health sciences, business, design, technology, agriculture, environmental studies, and others. Number one, all of these disciplines ask the where question, the where question, and thus all of them can use GIS tools and spatial data. Number two, to solve complex global issues that increasingly affect our everyday lives, we need people in a wide variety of disciplines weighing in with their expertise and background. Number three, that spatial data will be open and usable. We've already seen how valuable it is in creating the coronavirus dashboards, maps, and infographics. It is valuable in a myriad of other disciplines and applications from transportation to natural resource management, from business supply chains and risk assessment to criminal justice, from sustainable energy, tourism, and agriculture to utility networks, gas, electricity, water. I could go on. But powering all of these applications is spatial data. Without spatial data, you can't do any mapping or analysis. Hence, my hope that spatial data will be increasingly delivered in open and usable formats, able to be ingested into GIS software packages, web maps, and apps. Number four, that many will be able to work from home. Think of the energy savings that would result if even 10% of the workforce was permitted to work from home. Number five, that cities will be smarter and by that I mean more energy efficient, better use of buildings, etc. Hmm, maybe we don't even need so many buildings. Number six, that supply chains will be smarter, more efficient, more sustainable, more resilient to changes. Where appropriate, local sourcing will be pursued. Number seven, that we will conserve our use of resources, all resources, water, paper, electricity, land, soil, plants, people, and not take them for granted. Number eight, that we will have new appreciation for parents, teachers, health workers, and others. I hope I don't need to explain why these people are so valuable, needed, and treasured. And they need to see that we appreciate them. Number nine, that we will not be so busy that we are not listening to each other, spending time together, and enjoying something as simple as a walk together. Uh, have you noticed that people and families walking in your neighborhood uh, more often than usual during the COVID-19 situation than in the past? That is wonderful. Number 10, that we will care for each other, that we will care for each other, that we are one planet and people, and that we need to band together. Those are my 10 things a geographer hopes will come out of the COVID-19 crisis. I look forward to your comments. Thanks.